Legends, everybody. Sorry that this, this is probably my most lackluster San Diego Comic-Con video ever. All of that, I would say 90% of the footage you just watched in that little itty bitty highlight reel was filmed in the last 10 minutes of the damn con. And I'm not even lying to you. I'm talking about like they had made the announcement of like, everybody, the exhibit hall is closing in 10 minutes. And I was just like, oh crap, I haven't got any footage. And I just ran around with this thing actually. And I ran around with this like, oh, got the footage, get it, get it. And that's why it's so shaky. It's not as good as it usually is because this San Diego Comic Con was so jam packed for me that I just, I, I don't even know where the time went. But even though I wasn't able to make an awesome, okay, but even though I wasn't able to make an awesome video for you guys, it was still a really great Comic Con because I did some stuff that I wasn't really expecting to do or I got to meet some people I wasn't really expecting to get to meet. One first being Jim Lee, the great, awesome, mega, awesome dude that is at DC Comics, the artist, I should say. I can't even talk because I still don't believe that I met the guy. But if you were part of the DC Universe, you know that they do, uh, they, they were doing all this cool stuff for their fans or their, I should say, their subscribers at San Diego Comic Con and they did this one thing on Friday morning where they did a brunch and they had Jim Lee there signing autographs and I thought that was really dope. So me and my friend Nikki got to meet him. He signed one of the posters they were giving out and yeah, that was a really cool moment. Another awesome, and I'm talking about this, ooh, this blew my mind and actually might be the highlight of my whole Comic Con is I got to meet Todd McFarlane and if you don't know who Todd McFarlane is, he is a legend in the comic world. Even if you don't know him from comics, you've probably seen his toys before, especially if you have some sports fans in the family and they buy these little things called McFarlane collectibles and they're like sports and all this other stuff and they're just awesomely designed toys. He is the co-creator of that, or he is the creator of that, I should say, of that company. DC was cool enough to actually have him doing multiple signings throughout the con. They said if you signed up for this poster, that this which is this poster right here, if you signed up for this uh, card they were doing, you got that poster and you were able to come get autographed signings of Todd McFarlane on the last day of the con. So I was able to go to that and I, man, it was dramatic to try to get in there because they don't really do lines very well at Comic Con. It's really kind of hard because it's so hectic. But this line, everybody was kind of hovering around and they're like, this is going to be the line. And everybody's like, oh crap. And everybody just like, kind of just jumped in there. And I was like maybe 90 or 90, like 93 in line. There's also like the people that have disabilities and stuff. They have to go ahead of you in line. There was like 50 people with ADA. I'm not too sure what ADA means. If you know what ADA means, let me know in the comment section down below. But I know that was a big thing whoever had ADA got into the lines first. Well, there was about 50 ADA people and the people that, you know, managed Todd McFarlane, they were saying like, hey, at 4.30, this dude is out. He is done. I don't care if you're next in line. Once 4.30 hits, he's done. And so with all of those people ahead of us and me being like 93rd in line, I was starting to freak out. I was like, I don't think we're going to get this. I don't think we're going to get this. So I was like stressed the whole time waiting to meet Todd McFarlane. And then boom, I was one of the last 10 to get in. The guy was like, look, man, I'm going to take the last 10 of y'all. We're getting in. That's it. Everybody squeeze in there. And so it was crazy because they we still had to get through that deadline just because we were in line didn't mean that we were going to get an autograph. So I made a pact, like me and the whole group of like 10 people made a pact. We we're like, look guys, okay, he has limited time. We got like five freaking minutes left. And what we're going to do is nobody talk to him. Nobody talk. Don't ask for photos. Let's just get the signatures and get the hell out. So uh, it was crazy. We all got in there. And this was the best part of the con right now was I was going, I was focused. I was laser freaking focused to do my part of this pack. You know, I was gonna go, boom, thank you sir, boom, and get out of there. But I kind of froze a little bit because I was wearing my Bat From The Box shirt. I should have been wearing it today. But my Bat From The Box logo, I was wearing it, didn't, I did this subconsciously. It was just like, oh, shirt, let me put it on. Go to the con, when I'm there giving him my poster, I'm just not even talking to him, I'm like, hey sir. And I'm just looking down and he just looks at me and he points to my shirt and he's like, that's cool. And I was like, <laughs> like in my freaking soul and everything, I was like, oh my God, Tommy Farley said my design is cool. And like, I don't know, like again, if you don't know who Todd McFarlane is, Google him. You'll see a lot of his artwork. The dude is a legend when it comes to freaking just artwork and like just doing things in comics. And for him, somebody like that to say they enjoyed something I designed, it blew my fucking mind. And uh, yeah, it was just, it was really awesome. It was dope. And then I was like, thanks, sir. And I shook his hand and I dipped because I still was trying to be part of the pack but I wasn't expecting them to say something like that. So it just, yeah, it really blew my mind. Another cool thing is if you watch Final Space, which is the, okay, 
Another okay, another cool person I got to meet was actually Olin Rogers. If you guys don't know who that is, he is one of he's actually a YouTuber. He was a pretty big YouTuber when he was on here consistently, but now he's currently working in Hollywood with a show called Final Space. It's an animated show on TBS. It's produced by Conan O'Brien, which is pretty awesome. And uh, he is like the head, he's like the lead voice actor on the show. And I got to go to a table read because my friend Nikki actually got an extra ticket and I was able to go to this table read and uh, they gave out posters and stuff like that. But it was cool because you just got to hear them do a whole episode live. And I've been to a couple of these before. It's really fun because, you know, the cast kind of jokes around with each other. It's just a fun experience. And uh, what I didn't know was freaking SpongeBob is part of the cast and I did not know that. Of course, the voice actor of SpongeBob. So when I saw him come out for the table read, I was like, what? It's this guy right here that was in the clip that's going all crazy. Uh, it was awesome. He was cool. And everybody else in the cast was really fun too. Another cool thing, and I wish I would have had the balls to do this. I was just like, I was totally caught off guard. And I was like, oh crap, that would have been cool. But I also don't trust myself. One thing they did was they asked that they needed two people out of the audience to actually read two parts. And this is something I totally would have done. But... Honestly, sometimes I do not trust myself with reading live. Like, it's just always been a thing that I've hated since I was a kid. Like, I can read a script in my own time where I can edit it and do really awesome. But if I'm in front of a live crowd and all this stuff and they want me to read a script, I'll be like, oh, I don't know. I can do it, but sometimes I just don't trust myself. So I was like, yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm just here to have fun. But it would have been really cool because, you know, the, the audience and, like, the crowd and everybody was just all there for them. They're like, yeah, you're awesome. So that would have been a really cool experience, but it was just cool to watch it. So that was an awesome experience and I got to also meet a bunch of other comic book creators and that was mainly a lot of my Comic Con which I was very surprised because I have no more room on my walls for art but for some reason I was like you know what I'm gonna buy all the art. If you want to see my pool or everything that I got from my Comic Con haul there is a video over on the Bat from the Box channel. Definitely go check that out. I'll have it linked in the things at the end or whatever. But uh, yeah so I bought so much comic art but the cool thing is is usually at Comic Con you can meet the artists and you can meet the writers. And I got to meet Mitch Gerard, I got to meet Greg, Greg Capullo, Mitch Gerard, or is it Jared's? I don't, I always throw it off, whatever, I always say his last name wrong. But I got to meet Greg Capullo, who is the Red Scott Snyder's run, he's really awesome. And then I got to meet Tom King, which was also really awesome, because he's one of my favorite writers at the moment. He's currently writing Batman, and then he will be going over to write Batcat. And uh, I was actually got to do a chat with him for a while, and he showed me some art that hadn't been posted at the time from the Bat, Cam the Bat Cat comic book. Sorry, I can't talk. And he was just a really cool dude to talk to and get insight to when it came to, like, the comics or just how he kind of does things and whatnot. And we didn't get to talk that long, and I didn't ask him super in-depth questions, but I asked him stuff about the run, and, um, yeah, it was just really cool to actually talk to him for a little bit. All in all, my Comic-Con was pretty awesome. I, like I said, I wish I would have I been able to film more because there was a lot of stuff going on. I just didn't have the time, and I was constantly tired. My hotel was, like, nine blocks away from the convention, and so I would walk back to my thing, and I'm like, I'm done, and I would nap. And I just wouldn't care to go get my camera and go get footage like I normally do. And uh, yeah, it was rough. It was crazy. It was a great time. But I'm back from Comic-Con. I wanted to throw this video up for you because I try to do a Comic-Con video every year. And yeah, so if you guys were at Comic-Con, let me know. I, got, I only saw one person. One person. I was waiting in line for the DC channel. And uh, they were like, aren't you uh, back from the box? And I was like, oh yeah, what's up? So I always love meeting you guys, but that was really cool. Uh, it's I always run into somebody at Comic-Con, which is really cool. But anyways, that's going to be it, guys. Hopefully you liked this video. I just wanted to throw something up there for you because I know a lot of you guys were curious about my Comic-Con experience. If you didn't follow me, there's still stuff on Instagram. You can go check out my Instagram. There was a bunch of stuff I posted while during while I was at the con there. And you can go over to the main channel where I did post about three videos of some, some of the stuff I got from Comic-Con. So yeah, definitely go check that out. But as always, ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, Juicebox. Remember when you wake up in the morning, ask yourself something. Got my daily dose of juice. See you guys next time.